We assume that because Hollywood actors are making the big, big, big bucks, that when we watch their movies, they're doing just about everything. But what you might not know is that stars always have a body double, if not three. And sometimes these doubles are just as talented and just as stunning as the actors themselves. If you thought that finding a female stunt double for Gwendolyn Christie, who plays Brienne of Tarth on HBO's Game of Thrones, was tough, you'd be right. The actress, who is over six feet tall, is actually doubled by a man. And not just any man. One of Hollywood's busiest stunt doubles. A man named Mark Slaughter, actually. It's pretty forgiving underneath layers of metal armor, though, so basically, all they needed to match was the height and the shock of platinum blonde hair to make the whole thing work. It must take a pretty tough person to double for someone like Tom Hardy. And luckily, the actor has found just the guy. Stuntman Jacob Tamori has been doubling for Tom for years now. But to look at them together, it might take a second to figure out which one is the movie star. The pair definitely share that whole ruggedly handsome quality, and have worked together on Mad Max Fury Road, The Revenant, and Legend, where Tamori actually got the chance to play Tom's twin. Well, before they CGI Tom's face onto his for the final product. It's hard to imagine literally anyone as beautiful as Kate Winslet in Titanic, and yet her stunt double Sarah Fronzel actually gave Kate a run for her money. But Fronzel is way more than just a beauty. She's been a stunt woman in over 160 productions. Doubling Kate on Titanic must have been a memorable job, however, as the actors themselves have said that the water was anything other than warm, and they were stuck in it for hours and hours, for days on end. While Willow didn't actually get to get down and dirty with the fighting as much as Buffy did on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, she absolutely held her own. And when it came to Vampire Willow, we got to see a whole other side of her. For this episode, Allison Hannigan got not one, but three doubles. A regular face Willow stunt double for her fight scenes, and two vamp Willows for all the bitey bitey stuff. The image of all four of them sitting together is still priceless after all these years. Mark Wahlberg has never shied away from taking on very physical roles in high-octane action movies, so he's lucky to have a dedicated stuntman by his side. For Transformers Age of Extinction, his double was hard-working stunt performer Dan Mast, and looking at them side by side, it's easy to see why. The two could totally be brothers, and not just because of their identically huge biceps. Sometimes for doubles to match, there are all sorts of wigs and prosthetics needed, but for Dan, it was just a quick hair dye. While there may only be one Hermione Granger in our hearts, there were actually three on the set of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Some might think that Hermione tends to stay out of the action and use her smarts and magical prowess rather than getting too physical. But in the Deathly Hallows movie, she gets right in it with the best of them. For continuity, she had a stunt double, a photo double for those faraway shots, and a stand-in to make sure she was always properly lit. Remember Mark Slaughter, the guy who doubled for Brienne of Tarth that we mentioned earlier? Well, like we said, the man works a lot. He's back again, but this time as the stunt double for Alexander Skarsgård in the movie Tarzan. And this time, there's no armor to hide under. Mark had to get just as shredded as Skarsgård for the role, and boy did he ever. Complete with long blonde locks, Mark is actually giving the megastar a run for his money in the looks department. Megan Fox might be the kind of person who you can't imagine anyone being able to double effectively, because she's pretty much impossibly beautiful. But her stunt woman, Stacey Carino, is not only as stunning as Megan, she's also a total boss. With over 100 credits on IMDb, Stacey has even fractured her neck on the job, and didn't even realize until years later. She worked with Megan on Transformers, and then again when Megan personally recommended her for Jonah Hex. It's good to have friends in high places. While Dwayne Johnson is a former wrestler and all-around giant human being, even he needs a little help with the stunts every now and again. That's where Tanoai Reed comes in. Fun fact, not only is he The Rock's longtime stuntman, he's also his cousin, which might explain why the two bear a pretty striking resemblance, and why their working relationship is so good. He's been doubling his cousin Dwayne since the very beginning, and the pair don't seem to have any plans to slow down. A lot of actresses dream of getting to play a Bond girl, that glamorous femme fatale who can secretly kick some serious butt. And for French actress Leah Seydoux, that chance was given to her in the film Spectre. It was also a dream job for her stunt double, Jimmy DeSamara, who has worked on a ton of huge Hollywood blockbusters. Aside from her impressive skills as a stunt woman, she is totally gorgeous, and a perfect match to jump in the action for the beguilingly beautiful Seydoux. 
To be on Game of Thrones, well, to be a woman on Game of Thrones, you've got to be comfortable with nudity. It's going to come up at some point for sure. But for those who aren't interested in bearing all for millions, there are body doubles. And in the case of Amelia Clark, aka Daenerys, aka Khaleesi, her body double in season 5 could not be more of a dead ringer. British model and actress Rosie Mack looks so much like Amelia Clark that she was actually cast off of a single selfie on Instagram. If you could imagine any person who would be perfect to double British heartthrob Colin Firth, a man named Rick English might just be the guy. And you're in luck, because that's exactly who he is. Rick English is one of the hardest working stuntmen in England, and doubled Colin Firth in the action-packed Kingsman movies. And he's no slouch himself. Even next to the totally dashing Colin Firth, English is undeniably handsome. Not only that, but he specializes in stunt motorcycling, which looks as terrifying as it sounds. Jennifer Garner may have made her fair share of dramas and rom-coms over the years, but she rose to fame for her butt-kicking TV role on Alias, and with her from the beginning is her stunt double and near-identical twin Shauna Duggins. The pair are not only partners in filmmaking, but seriously close friends. Duggins was also the first woman nominated for the Emmy for Outstanding Stunt Coordination. They are back together for Garner's latest action movie, Peppermint, and are as inseparable as ever. Hey, it's another Game of Thrones entry, which isn't surprising because we all know what that show is famous for. And we aren't talking about the violence. In one of the most infamous scenes ever in TV history, Cersei is forced to perform the ultimate walk of shame. And while they might have fooled us all into thinking it was actually Lena Headey walking the walk, it was really her body double and stunt woman, Rebecca Van Cleve. Talk about taking a bullet, or in her case, a thousand tomatoes. Shailene Woodley shot to stardom with the Divergent series, but she didn't do it alone. The action-packed movies were a lot for the movie star to handle, so that's when her stunt woman Alicia Vela Bailey stepped in. Along with the usual fight choreography, Vela Bailey had to perform a 66-foot jump off of a building without a wire in Woodley's place. Now that's impressive. Not only is she practically fearless, she's also totally stunning and a talented actress in her own right. If that wasn't enough for her, Alicia Vela Bailey also took a turn doubling Australian beauty Nicole Kidman in Just Go With It. Not only can she free fall from 66 feet in the air, but she can also hula like nobody's business. Because Kidman didn't really have any stunts in the movie, Vela Bailey stepped in for some of those close-up shots from the dance competition between her and Jennifer Aniston. She might not be as tall as Kidman, but seeing the two of them next to each other, it's clear why she was chosen. Spending hours and hours for months on end in spacesuits suspended from wires crammed in a tiny space station set is enough to exhaust any actor. Luckily, they have stunt and body doubles to step in when things get grueling, like Kate Mara and her double Casey Michaels in the movie The Martian. Casey is another one of those super hardworking performers who has doubled a ton of big-name actresses, but has worked with Mara more than once because of their striking resemblance. To double a bombshell, you gotta be a bombshell yourself. At least, that's what it seems like for stuntwoman Ingrid Klein, who's doubled in Hollywood for years, possibly most notably for Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad. Harley is arguably the best part of that movie, and so she needed the best in the biz to bring her fighting style to life. Ingrid is known not only for her fighting abilities, but for her balletic way of performing, which suited the role of Harley perfectly. The Avengers movies have only gotten bigger and more physical as the years have gone on so the actors in them need the best stunt doubles out there. This is definitely true for Anthony Mackie, who plays Falcon, and his stunning stunt double Aaron Tony. Tony's worked on almost a hundred films, and for good reason. He's one of the strongest performers out there, with the ability to transform his fighting style to adapt to the characters he's portraying. From Dr. Dre in Straight Outta Compton to the crime-fighting Falcon. When Atomic Blonde came out, the one thing that nobody could stop talking about was how amazing the fight choreography was, and how insane it was that Charlize Theron did almost all of her own stunts. And while that is totally true, and Charlize remains super impressive to this day, she did get a little help. And that's where stunt legend Monique Ganderton came in. Monique has done some of the most impressive doubling out there, and for good reason. Not only is she a force to be reckoned with, she's also movie star gorgeous herself. While there is no one out there quite like the irreplaceable Carrie Fisher, no one can forget the amazing picture that surfaced of her and her stunt double, Tracy Eden, sunbathing on the set of Return of the Jedi in 1982. The two look so similar that they could totally be sisters, and look like they are really enjoying each other's company, too. Tracy started working in stunts in 1975, and worked as recently as 2016 on the movie Doctor Strange. She is definitely a legend in her own right. 
It couldn't be just anyone who could step in to double someone like Michael B. Jordan as Killmonger in the box office smash Black Panther. So that's where Khalid Gaji came in. The skilled stunt performer and actor handled some of Killmonger's toughest and fastest fight choreography, namely the totally brutal fight where he manages to take down T'Challa. He's also not hard to look at either, which is just another thing he has in common with his movie star twin Michael B. Jordan. Another superhero who not just anyone could take on to double is the unforgettable Thor and the Australian super hunk who plays him, Chris Hemsworth. Which is why stunt performer Bobby Holland Hanton not only ate like Chris Hemsworth, but trained like him to stay in godlike physical shape for the role. He's doubled Chris on more than one movie since meeting on Snow White and the Huntsman in 2012, and the two are now close friends. Not to mention that they share similar good looks, which is definitely a plus. One of the most famous stunt doubles in movie history is the New Zealand native Zoe Bell, who made it big doubling for Uma Thurman in Kill Bill Volumes 1 and 2. Quentin Tarantino became so enamored with the amazing Bell that he ended up writing a movie for her in 2007, called Death Proof, in which she played herself. She also took on the task of doubling Kate Blanchett as Hela in Thor Ragnarok, and is known as one of the best in the biz. To play the Amazonian warrior princess Wonder Woman, even as her stunt double, one must look like an Amazonian warrior princess. While Gal Gadot may be one of the most stunning women on the planet, her stunt double, Caitlin Deschell, is no slouch herself. Trained in martial arts since she was six years old, Deschell is an absolute fight master, and her good looks are nothing compared to her abilities as a performer. She has not one, not two, but three black belts, and is definitely not someone we'd want to square off with in a fight. It takes a whole lot more than a pretty face to make it as a stunt double in Hollywood, but having one sure helps. What did you think of this list? How awesome are all of these behind-the-scenes performers? Do you think they deserve more glory than they get? Let us know down below, and thanks for watching this video. 